Namaste everyone and welcome back to Live Stronger. Today we are going to work on our entire back, right from our traps to our lower back. Perform some extreme sets wherein we do drop sets or rest pause technique is implemented to get as many repetitions as possible. So straight away I am going to start with the greatest stretch for my dynamic stretching routine pre-workout. 5 repetitions on each side to ensure I unlock the mobility of my entire back and also my hip muscles. Make sure you dedicate a couple of minutes pre-workout every day for dynamic stretching. If not this stretch, any particular dynamic stretch which you prefer to do, please do perform other than warm up or consider this as a warm up if you are doing multiple number of dynamic stretches. Post completing the greatest stretch, I moved on to my deep squat, the mandatory deep squat for the day. Make sure you push your glutes as far behind as possible and then once you feel the stretch in your hamstrings, bend your knees and go into a deep squat and sit there for a few seconds. Once done, we move on to our first exercise wherein we do barbell pullovers, three sets. 15 plus plus so basically what I have done is I have done three sets of these with 15 repetitions to start off with and once I am done with my 15 repetitions I paused for 5 to 10 seconds did 5 repetitions again paused for 5 to 10 seconds did again 5 repetitions and did that for 4 times so total you would be able to get around 30 to 35 repetitions out of each set now the rest in between sets is 45 seconds to 60 seconds as you can see I haven't taken anything extremely heavy because I wanted to get proper form before able to move a lot of weight so the action of the exercise is pretty simple you keep your elbows locked let the barbell go way behind behind your head as you're lying down on the bench and then bring the barbell back up once you're done with your 15 repetitions Take a small pause for a couple of seconds and try to go and do another 5 repetitions. See how my elbows stay locked in position and also doesn't flare out. They stay in line with my lat muscles and you can clearly see how my lat muscles are getting engaged and how an arc is being created in my lower back as the barbell goes down and as I bring it back again the arc disappears. So I'm going to speed up the video multiple times in this particular uh, video because there's a lot of exercises wherein I do drop sets or extra number of repetitions which do consume a lot of time. So I'm going to speed it up so because it is unnecessary for you to watch the entire bit throughout. But yes, I'm going to also try explain the video in one set clearly so that you get a exact workout of how it is to be done. Going for my second set, I have increased the weight because the first set felt a little bit easier. I was not really challenged by the 10 kilo fixed weight barbell. So I moved on to the 15 kilo one and then I started feeling the challenge. Since I have done a lot of push workout in the previous workout, so my triceps were getting a little bit tired. I was not sure whether my form was right, but now when I see it in the video, my form was actually great. It's just that my triceps were pretty sore from yesterday, so they were tired and I was experiencing that fatigue more than my lad getting fatigued. As mentioned, I'm going to speed up the video. Again, three sets with 15 plus plus sets. Repetitions, I'm sorry. Take at least 45 seconds to 60 seconds break in between to recover and then go back. Post completing the barbell pullovers i moved on to the t-bar rows now if you don't have a t-bar row setup you might also have this particular setup wherein you can hook a barbell into one of the racks or if you don't have this also you can always put a barbell in a corner and start doing the rows now for the t-bar row i have done three sets of these with with starting off with 20 repetitions standing or bending down really low and doing 20 repetitions and once I'm done with 20 repetitions 
I stand up a little bit or get or you know try to get as far behind as possible and do as many repetitions as possible basically a failure set, uh, set in the same set wherein I use a lot of uh, mid trapezium and upper trapezium to get the reps out as you can see here once I was done with the 20 repetitions bending over I stood up a little bit or release the tension and got few more repetitions out of it three sets make sure when you're starting off you're as parallel to the floor as possible i mean your entire back should be as parallel to the floor as possible and from here start rowing if you have a t-bar row setup go ahead and use that but i prefer this particular setup because it lets me bend a lot more in front and once done with that 20 repetitions i stand up as straight as possible and start rowing to use my mid trapezium and my upper trapezium to do the work don't load extreme amount of weight because that would really tire you out and you wouldn't be able to get quality reps out of it just a challenging weight is sufficient for my next exercise i have done lat pull downs three sets first 12 repetitions and then do at least two to three drops so basically after completing 12 repetitions without any break you drop the weight get few reps out of it fail then again drop the weight get few more reps out of it and fail and try to do that three times now for the first two sets i was able to only do it twice because i was tired and the weight was all i was dropping too much weight for the third set i definitely did try to go for the third drop here my biceps and my forearms were getting pretty activated that was the main fatigue for me so i was not as mentioned in my previous videos in this particular equipment setup i usually get a lot of activation in my forearms and biceps so that might not be the case with you so go ahead and try to get that third drop in and get as many repetitions as possible in your drop sets also try to load as heavy as possible and try to pull as strongly as possible we want maximum amount of uh, explosive strength here as you can see in the video I tried to go as explosive as possible for the first 12 repetitions and then as I started to drop or started to get fatigue is when I started to try and control the weight more. You have to start with a challenging weight for you to be able to drop or do the drop sets efficiently. Now when doing a drop set you have to make sure that every drop set you are near failure wherein you are unable to do any more repetitions without losing out on your form so that is one vital thing to keep in mind while performing the drop set yes this particular exercise would take more than few seconds about 30 to 45 seconds for to finish it off but a great way to activate our entire lats with a drop set post completing this particular exercise i moved on to seated rows now in my gym i don't have a seated row setup so what i have done is i have basically moved a military press bench in front of the cable machine and started rowing now i haven't done the traditional rowing wherein my hands are completely extended and then i pull them back what i have done is i kept my elbows locked again and use my spinal flexion to go forward and come back and get my elbows behind my back a pretty easy way nothing complicated if you have a uh, seated row machine or the equipment available please do use that but if you don't have you can do, use the similar setup wherein you can set up a bench in front of the cable machine and use a straight bar uh, attachment and start rowing like I did for the third set I was hitting absolute failure where I wasn't able to pull anymore without slipping down the floor was slippery so I was not able to get enough grip but yes make sure you keep your elbows always fixed and use your spinal flexion post completing my seated rows I moved on to my shrugs wherein I have done three sets of these with as heavy weight as possible wherein I can get 15 to 20 repetitions out of these make sure you use the or 
at least I would recommend that you use a barbell instead of dumbbells because with a barbell you're able to hold it wide out and get the maximum amount of contraction in your shrugs. You can also do this exercise on a Smith machine but the Smith machine was busy so I preferred using the barbell on the rack. The cue here is to try to get the sh shoulder muscles as close to your ears as possible to get the maximum amount of contraction in your upper trapezium. Post completing my trap exercises, I moved on to seated calf press. Again, there is no seated calf machine in my gym. So I'm using the Smith machine with a flat bench as a setup. Loaded it with a couple of 25s and started to go. Now what I have done is I have used the same technique which I have been using since basically holding four seconds at every rep the contraction and the stretch to get the maximum amount of calf activation and eliminate the complete involvement of my tendons so this exercise would take you quite some time if if you don't have the seated calf machine wherein you have to set set, uh, set up a smith machine and do the slow repetitions because holding four seconds for 12 to 15 repetitions will take some time so that's a heads up for you also i have used a small yoga mat or a cushion and on my legs so that the bar doesn't crush into my thighs and cause any kind of uh, you know bruising i've done three sets of these by the second set i was actually done my calves were extremely tight and i was not able to push anymore but i took a longer break wherein i have taken about 60 to 90 seconds break and went for my third set so try to do that as much as possible the video is a little bit it's at a 2.5x speed so that's the reason you're unable to gauge the four second hold but yes i was holding four seconds every repetition to get the maximum out of my calves post completing my calf workout i moved on to back extensions I know this particular equipment has been tucked in a corner <laughs> in the gym so a little difficult to position myself and the camera here but yes back extensions are very easy exercise if you have this particular equipment you just make sure the cushion is just under your hips it is not at your hips or right below where the elastic of your pant or your uh, shorts are so that your back is free sorry just someone walked in front of the camera uh, it's pretty simple exercise just lay flat on the back extension and try to get up just get in a straight line that's about it you don't have to overextend yourself here your entire lower back would be fired up i'm holding a dumbbell for the first 10 to 15 repetitions and once i was done or extremely fatigued I dropped the dumbbell and started doing it with just my body weight. As you can see, no overextension, slow repetitions, feeling the burn in my lower back. Yes, you will be pretty fatigued from all the previous exercises, so it will be quite challenging and you will get tired out pretty quickly. But that's okay. Try to get as much activation as possible. As you can see in my third set on the right side, I was not able to get up as much as possible because my entire back was sore and tight but i still continued getting the repetitions without overextending myself just trying to get as straight as possible using those back muscles lower back muscles especially post completing those i've done two sets of pull-ups plus shrugs but i was pretty tired i was not able to get my enough repetitions i wanted to get at least five to six repetitions of pull-ups and then move into my shrugs wherein i do hanging shrugs 10 repetitions wherein you hang and try to use your upper back muscles to get up basically hanging shrugs post completing those i moved on to one last exercise wherein i did y races for 20 repetitions very simple two dumbbells on an inclined bench and start raising in the shape of the alphabet y just to finish off this is the last exercise for today post completing this i moved on to my static stretches now for static stretches you can also hang use the vertical hang as a stretch or do the lat stretch we have been doing on a 
regular basis post our la back workout so that's it for today thank you so much for joining me i know today's exercise is a bit lengthy and intense but yes that's how we go about building strength so if you did like the video please do drop a like if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel i would appreciate a sub any feedback in comments i would definitely take time to respond to it we are going to make small changes and intensify the program a little bit to break the plateau of strength gain and also shaping of muscles so i hope you would keep up with it if at any time you feel this is a little bit more you can go back to the previous videos and continue doing the previous workouts and it's absolutely fine thank you again for joining me i hope you have a good day i'll see you in the next video